another one of those peculiar mist banks up there. And I'm going to send up Sparky, but I just thought I'd show you the ND16 filter first, in case it drops off while it's up there. You see how it's held on? You put that sticker there, and that little tab just holds on to it. Not the greatest idea. Anyway, I'll give it a clean and I'll send it up there. There you go, ND16 filter. But I might need, as I was saying to someone, um, I might need an ND32. Here we go. There's a mist bank. A mist bank. I've got my teeth in. So, uh, we'll go up and we'll have a look at it, eh? What do you reckon? Obstacle avoidance is off, yeah. I don't use that, really. I never really have cause for it. Although I did <laughs> crash into a tree, and I should have had it on then. Twelve satellites. That's enough. How many do you need? Let's go. There's a camera. Because I'm always forgetting to do that. Here we go. Take off. The home point has been updated. Please check it on the map. There you go. Look at that mist bank. Coming around North Head. Isn't it weird? I take up to uh, 400 feet. I just turn around a little bit so I go up. Look at that. Freaky. It's a freaky phenomenon. Look at that as it hits uh, that head. I forgot what it's called, that place. Just about to top out. Maximum flight altitude reached. Okay. High wind velocity, it says. Okay, well, we'll bear that in mind. So there it goes, it's the same sort of place again. It goes over to Quarantine Bay. Isn't that the freakiest thing? Maybe I'll just bring down the camera slightly. Oops. Just give you a perspective. I'll do a slow pan. Slow pan round. There's the uh, Marine Rescue Centre, Bramble Street. There you go, that's Bramble Street. And the pines that I flew through. Look at that, it's beautiful. So I've got my ND16 on. So we'll see what that's like. So that's looking out. It's Corkall Bay. And there's North Head. There's North Head. You see, you can see it. It's coming in from the sea. I can't get up any higher to see actually how far out it is. We'll have a look round. We'll look round um, the head towards Aslin's Beach. There's Aslin's Beach there. Just to give you perspective where I am. There's a, some beautiful wave action going on on that rock down there. And this is the entrance to, uh, there's the lake, Lake Curalo. And there's Dusty's Rock over there on the left, and the pool. And in front of that is, uh, God, I don't know what that rock's called, I'm heading in towards uh, Ross's Bay. And there's the cave down there. 
Maybe we should go and have a look at the cave. Just pull it over sideways a bit. Have a look at the cave. Ross's Bay. It's a beautiful place. We go forward. I don't want to land on Ron's house. Now, I've been calling this the Bat Cave, but there's actually another Bat Cave, and this isn't called the Bat Cave locally. Just trying to do everything gently. Now I should climb up the stairs now. That's what I should do, so I've got a better signal. That's what I'll do. I'll just let it hover there for a second while I go upstairs. Stand on the veranda. And see how close we can get to the cave. <coughs> I'd like to fly inside it. But, uh, I'd be worried. Because I'm... I'm to the side of it. I'm to the side of it, so uh, I'll lose signal if I go in too far. Now, also, it's difficult to know how high above the water I am. Let's have a look down. Let's go forward, so I'll go over some rocks so I get some perspective as to. So I'm already minus 10 meters. Minus 10 meters. So, I can come a bit lower. I want to go as low as possible. Let's go to the side there. Now this is where the ND filter isn't such a good thing. See, I can't even really see what I'm doing. Because I've got a four inch phone here. So. <laughs> I'd like to go right in. Now what I should have on is my prop guards. Because you know, just one touch. And you know what happens. I'm a bit wary. Anyway, there's a look inside. Look, I'm not going to really take it in much further because I'm chicken. How low am I? I'm pretty low. I'm coming backwards. That was quite daring. I don't want to lose my spark because if. If it went in the water, I'd have to go over there and get it. And it's not that accessible. I mean, you can do it, but... Uh, I don't want to. I don't want to have to. So there's another cave. I don't know if they've got enough... I'm going to battery with this thing to, to show the other cave. But there's another cave that's on the other side of the road. That's the actual bat cave. Let's see how close we can get to it. I could put it into sports mode, do it a bit faster. That's high enough. I'll just show you. High wind velocity it says. I don't think it is. I'm going to go into sports mode. Yeah, we'll never get there otherwise. We'll never get there. Here we 
go. It's harder to do this smoothly in sports mode. See, there's the other little pool. And that's your actual bat cave there. Let's turn that sign off. What's happening now? No transmission signal. Let's go facing it. That's better. So there's the uh, <coughs> there's the actual bat cave. We got four minutes left. Five minutes, six minutes. How to read this? It says seven minutes now. I suppose it's seven minutes if I just continue doing very little. Let me go back to GPS. So there's your back cave, anyway. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm just going to put it into auto return and see what happens. Go home. Okay, let's see what happens. You've got to test these things, you know. You don't know what's going to happen. So it's going up. We've got four minutes. That's, it's only 600 metres away. 680. So it should be alright. See how quickly it goes down there? Three minutes now, 320. But then it'll get overhead and that'll go up again. Once it's stopped, uh, um, pushing forward. So I've still got 29% battery. There's that mist bank, isn't it beautiful? So I'm just going to see if it, uh, see where it lands. Everything's looking sweet so far. 25% battery, so we'll get a battery warning shortly. I think my battery warning set at 20%. And early here. I can hear it. Only 10 metres away now. There's a bit of a delay between this sound and the picture for some reason. Okay, we're up overhead now, so I should be able to... Uh, that's it. Should be able to pull the gimbal down. Landing. Okay, let's see if it does a precision landing. It's just a bit out at the moment. There you are, got precision landing, there we go. That's a great little tool, this. Precision landing, locating landing point. Look at that. Spot on. Spot on. That's exactly where it took off. It's perfect. And it puts the camera forward. Look at that. Does it go all the way down or just hover? No, it goes all the way down. Well, that's fabulous. Okay.